in this lab we will study about the we make a buffer circuit with an open and now we will analyze the circuit with the simulations like transient analyze profile we're gonna generate an addresses first uh, this is the RC circuit we already had made but now we gonna add more things in that from the libraries analog design source and source STM select the file open Apply the resistors. Connect the circuit as I'm saying it's, it's just uh, adding a LFO11 open to the R original RC circuit we used in the lab one. So this is the connecting resistor, this is the output resistor, the load resistor, and the upper one is the feedback resistor which will be up between the output and the input. the capacitance we're gonna use for output now ground the circuit and also yet to supply source in the analog the grounding
make it like 15 volt minus this is all the, all the sources we're gonna go for to the open so RC circuit connected to open with feedback resistor and the load and this one is the power circuit like 15 volts plus and minus which will generate a power to the open so as our signal to input to the open is the my pulse which we have already did in the lab one so now these are the off page connectors like uh, VSS and VD which we have did it so VSS and VDD is nothing but the uh, source and drain like you can say uh, 15 volt plus and 15 volt minus the power supply to the now open the off page connector left and right So that's how the circuit we have it. Now we transfer the V out uh, like a net alias to the load. We don't even need it. So we can make a uh, net alias as a load because the load is at the resistance and capacitance. That's our output input is the my pulse. Capacitance two. Run the simulation. <laughs> Check the output at the net areas. Capacitance one. I cap one and the I cap. This is the input capacitance. I kept to the another capacitance. Change the axis settings. The axis settings. Change the y axis. Give 
capacitance capacitance 1 current rise time the current and y axis has a capacitance 2 current this is all the current flowing through the capacitance 1 and capacitance 2 the red one is the input and the green one is the output capacitance change the range to 200 microampere now enter the 20 in the run for field as as we can see so if you if you enter 20 then rerun the circuit you will find that at 20 microsecond the simulation profile will stop this is like a giving the timing to simulation it will run up to only the 20 microsecond see the end statement so this is like uh, giving timing to a particular simulation then it will run only for up to that time instance in the white box you can see the timing changes